Now, it took a while, but Westmore's opponent, Republican Dan Cox, accepted defeat today. Cox thanked Donald Trump for his support and criticized current Governor Larry Hogan for withholding his endorsement. And with Cox throwing in the towel, one question we're asking tonight is, what is the future for the Republican Party in Maryland? Scott Broom is looking into that for us this evening. Compared to four years ago, it's been nothing less than a staggering fall for Republicans in Maryland, according to political observers and operatives here. Dan Cox, who was criticized as a QAnon whack job by Maryland Governor Larry Hogan, was just crushed. Cox gaining less than 38 percent of the vote in his race for governor. By contrast, Hogan, a fellow Republican, won 55 percent of the vote in 2018. For insight, I talked with Walter Olson, a scholar with the libertarian-leaning Cato Institute. So where does the Republican Party go from here in Maryland? It can't stay where it is, at least not if it hopes to win any elections. Olson blames former President Donald Trump and the pandemic. Many conservative Republicans turned against Hogan for ordering public health lockdowns and for refusing to side with Trump's false claims of a stolen election. Instead, the Republican Party went with Dan Cox, an election-denying state delegate who tried to impeach Hogan. Olson says the damage to state Republicans is now widespread, with potential future conservative leaders like former county executives Alan Kittleman and Barry Glassman crippled by losses in their races down ballot. And when figures like Cox and Kuritka are at the top of the ticket, it motivates Democrats to work harder, motivates some Democrats to come out. Uh, it also demoralizes some Republicans from coming out, and some of them who would have voted Republican down ticket don't come out because they figure, all right, how do I deal with the Dan Cox problem? I don't show up at all. Now, in the race for Congress in Maryland's sixth district, Republican Neil Parrott does remain deadlocked in a race too close to call with incumbent Democrat David Trone. But nearly 60,000 mail-in ballots have yet to be counted, and most of them are from Trone strongholds in Montgomery County. Scott Broom, WUSA 9.